Wow. Wow. Welcome to Woo That's Hot, where the peppers are hotter than the rainforest. I'm your host, John Hiller, and today I'm doing my first pod review from peppers that I grew in my own garden, the Ahi Rainforest. Here's the pod, you can see it. Nice shape. This pod is in the capsicum picatum family. A lot of the ahi peppers are in that category. Most of the peppers you see are in the capsicum chinens, like habaneros and reapers, all those things. The picatum are interesting because usually they have a little bit of a lower heat and just more flavor. This guy right here ranges anywhere from around 10,000 to 50,000 Scoville units. To put that in perspective for you, jalapenos range from like two to 5,000. Frank's Red Hot's around 500. A ghost pepper is close to a million, usually around 700,000 to be honest. So this guy's pretty low. Habaneros are around 250 to 350,000 in that range generally. So this guy right around 10 to 50,000. If you're not used to eating chili peppers, this would be pretty hot. You know, this would be pretty warm on your tongue, uh, hotter than the jalapeno for sure. But if you're someone who eats them on a regular basis, this would be a nice spicy snack. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a quick little montage of the life of the pepper that grew this pot. And then I'm going to go outside and show you the plant currently. And here is the plant today. This is the plant that I cut the pods off of that I'm reviewing today. 12.2 Ahi Rainforest. Get a good view. It's got a lot of pods growing over here. Very healthy plant. I have two more Ahi Rainforest, but this is the one that the pod developed on. He's the only one that really has developed pods. The other ones I pulled all the pods and flowers off that developed early and this one I just let it go to compare how big the pods get and how many pods I get on this versus the others. So that's him. Let's go back to the review. Okay and we're back. So you saw the beautiful plant. Now we're going to go ahead and slice this open, look at the inside of it on my microscope cam, and then of course we're going to give it a taste. There's a cross-section shot for you right there, so you can see it. All right, now let's try to get a little bit closer on the microscope cam. Here, you can see the wall of the pepper is nice and thick. Get a nice shot of the seeds and the placenta. See if we can see any of the capsaicin oils. Don't know that you're really going to be able to, just because it has such a low amount of capsaicin. Some of that glisten might be there. That might just be juice as well though. Generally the capsaicin would be kind of in this area here along the placenta. But it's got good healthy seeds you can see. Let's try to see the other guy. Interesting seeing it up close. Okay guys let's go ahead and dive in and try this pepper. Give it a taste. Now I measured before this video the weight on this was 8 grams. I also measured another one that wasn't quite as ripe, but I went ahead and picked it off so the plant could start producing more. It was a little more orange. This one still has a hint of orange too. It should be more red. I didn't realize at first, but it's fine. It's ripe enough. Um, it's mostly red. But anyways, the other one was about seven. So, so far the two pods on this have an average of around seven and a half grams. The height, if you will, from stem to the bottom was about an inch or 1.1 inches. The widest depth on it was also about 1.1 inches, so about very round spherical shape and around an inch to an inch and a quarter. The aroma is very sweet, like one of those sweet peppers you'd buy in the grocery store in the bag. Just a very sweet, don't really get any hint of spice when you smell that. It smells very delightful. Let's give it a taste. Flavor on that is it's just like a sweet pepper out of the bag, like I talked about with the aroma. So good. 
like a nice, <clears throat> excuse me, a nice juicy sweet pepper. There's a little bit of a tang there near the end, and the heat kind of does build. Like, I'm not saying it's crazy hot, but it's not, like, completely mild. There's a nice burn on my tongue on the back. Put the heat level maybe at, like, a 3. 3 out of 10. Um, Really good, though. Heat's already starting to die down a little bit. But it's, like, a nice, a nice burn. A nice slow burn, not, like, a crazy peak of heat. Build slowly. Approaches slowly. Very tolerable. Hmm. Eat this other half. Wow. Wow. Really good pod, guys. It's delicious. This might be one of my favorites so far out of what I'm growing this year. Because a lot of things that I'm growing this year are not going to be things that I can just sit there and eat and with a smile on my face. Got some really crazy hot things that are going to be coming up in episodes. But this guy here I could snack on all day. Good heat. Enough to satisfy me. But not blow me away. Good flavor. I'm gonna put the flavor, put the heat at a three. I'm gonna put the flavor on this about an eight out of ten. Amazing. I'm so glad I have four of these growing. They're very prolific growers. If you want some seeds, I got the seeds from Jimmy Pickles. You can check his website at jppepperseeds.com. Also, guys, if you want some merch, Teespring seems to be opening up the doors a little more again. Shipping's kind of sped back up. Go ahead and get yourself a hoodie like this or a mug like this. Whatever. That about wraps this video up, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Woo! That's hot. Oh, hi there. Fancy meeting you here. Do you love this hot content? Do you need more? Well, you're in luck. Click above. You can subscribe there. Or perhaps you can check out my other videos to the left. But first... Subscribe. Hit that logo up there. Hit it, then hit subscribe. Then check out my other videos. Do it.